fallout from the dismissal of West Virginia's public health officer continues today, and it's now an issue in the race for governor. Dr. Kathy Slimp was a key official when it came to the state's response to COVID-19. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more. Dr. Kathy Slemp, who was helping oversee the state's coronavirus response, was asked to submit her resignation, and she did. For three months, the governor says there have been multiple discrepancies in the state's numbers of positive COVID-19 cases. But he did not mention Dr. Slemp by name at his Wednesday briefing. You've got to have passion for doing the job and doing the job right, you know, or you've got to, you know, either you're just dead level asleep at the switch. And, and, and that just, like I said, I can't be more blunt. I am not going to tolerate this. The governor's re-election opponent calls it a mistake. It's just another failure of the Justice Administration to fire your chief health officer during the middle of a pandemic, particularly when we're seeing a, a spike right now. We're seeing a slight increase in COVID-related uh, positives and additional deaths. Kanawha County Commissioner Ben Salango says his county wants $10 million from the Federal CARES Act to help small businesses, but the governor won't comply. I'm just wondering if, if it's on Salango for governor stationary, you know, because uh, all it is is another political stunt. Salango says Kanawha County was the first local government in the state to request aid for expenses such as testing. We've submitted about $3.2 million in COVID-related expenses. To date, we've not received a penny. And none of the money has gone out to small businesses. We're having small businesses close every single day. The state has a total of $1.25 billion in federal aid to distribute. COVID-19 is primarily a public health issue, but it's certainly going to become more of a political issue as we get deeper into campaign 2020. Outside the Capitol in Charleston, I'm Moore Curtis, 13 News, working for you. And right now, there is no word of a replacement for Dr. Slamp. Governor Justice is scheduled to hold his next briefing tomorrow.